Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, if I just do a, if I don't trip over myself, a little 360, we have missed. We have very light winds and uh, yeah, and we've got autumn colors as well. So yes, about bloody time. So <laughs> I've just parked the car up. You see it just over there. And this is my scene. Um, so imagine, I'll see if I can zoom in. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Well, I'll show you on the back of the camera. That's probably the easiest way of doing it. So there's my composition. This is the first one I've got of the day. Literally just got out of the car, turned around, saw this, and I was like, yep, that's really nice. So basically, as you can see, we've got the bracken, which is lovely and orange and yellow in the foreground. Then mid-ground, you've got these lovely little fir trees. And in the background, you've got these big, tall, I don't know what they are, um, redwoods or something like that, maybe. Um, don't know what they are, but then you've got the mist fading off into the background. So there's some really nice sort of layers in the shot here. So I've already bagged this one, but I'm going to take another one just to be on the safe side. So I'm at F11, five seconds, but that's not a problem because there's no, there's no wind. Um, well, there's very little wind. There's occasional gusts coming through, but nothing, nothing spectacular. Um, yeah. And then we're going to move on in. Now I scout with this, I mean, I've driven past this area loads of times, but I gave it a proper little scout on Friday. And there's a couple of compositions further up here, which um, there's one in particular I'm really excited for, especially in these conditions. I don't know how long this is gonna last. Um, the forecast said it was gonna be right up till 10 o'clock. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, I don't know. But with the light winds that we've got um, and the high temperature as well, cause it's like, it's like 14 degrees out here, it's incredible. <laughs> We're talking mid-November and it's like 14 degrees at seven o'clock in the morning. It's nuts, that's all I can say is nuts. But it's given me these conditions, so I am not complaining. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll move on to this uh, next uh, composition and we'll see what we can get. All right, take care. Well, this is a bit of a doozy. Um, just wandering down to it, there's a little, um, off to my left, you can't see, but down that way, there's a little fir tree all on its own, which I was heading down towards. But I looked right and saw this little scene in front of us here. Now, if you see on the right hand side there, they've cleared a patch of fo um, the forest away. So it's letting all this light in, which is hitting the side of that tree at the back. But then there's a gap to my left that is letting light hit the left hand side of this trunk here. So it makes a nice sort of counter punch to the, the one behind it. So I've gone for a square crop because I don't think it needs anything other than a square crop. I don't think 16.9 is going to work because landscape wise, it starts to get messy outside of that main composition there. Um, but there's some nice, obviously you've got the mist in the background. So that's diffusing the background and making that look nice, but it's just a two trees I just like that light that's hitting them now and there's a, just a patch of light on the grass in front of it as well which I think I can bring out in editing and make that look really sort of atmospheric so I'm gonna up the exposure a little bit and uh, yeah once again <laughs> bloody timer oh makes me want to switch away from Nick on it really does Five seconds, F6.3, 1.16 of a second. And um, yeah, that's rather nice. I like that, that's got some lovely light in it. Yeah, that's really nice. And it's, um, let me just see if I can get that orange going a bit more. Yeah, and there it is. Yeah, there's a patch of orange in front of that green section and I just want to get a bit more orange in that. So I just turn the circular polarizer towards that a little bit more. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice shot. I'm going to grab a second one of those. <clears throat> Focusing on the front tree. And I think we'll just, just double check to make sure Actually, that was stupid of me because I wanted to do a longer, a, a lower exposure. Then. Oh, so I messed up there. Right. So we're just going to do a darker exposure just to really highlight the patches of light there. 
I'll probably blend those two together then in Photoshop. I just want to see if there's any hope of a 16.9. Switch that over to 16.9. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to move the tripod. I can make this work. It does look like it could work. So let's just move the tripod slightly. I just wanna, there's a little dead trunk, a uh, little uh, chopped down tree that's just coming in, creeping into the right hand corner, which I don't want in the shot. That actually looks okay. So we'll go down to F11, actually go F14. There's very little wind, so we can put the timer up. We'll go up to about one second on that. Focus on the closest tree, and that should get all the other trees in shot. ISO's a thousand, we don't want ISO a thousand. Let's put the ISO down to 400, and we can up that to four seconds then. All right, let's get that shot. Oh, I have some nice light coming in off that right-hand side there now. Three, four, boom. Oh, that actually looks half decent. Wow, you gotta love autumn, haven't you? Look at that tree. <laughs> Look at the colors on it. It's like a fire tree. It literally looks like a tree on fire. And I think it highlights it more because all around it is, well, mostly all around it is green. So that looks stunning. And I love that silver conifer tree, that silver barked conifer tree next to it as well. Don't know what breed it is. Again, I'm gonna have to, someone wanna buy me a, a book of trees for Christmas? So I can start recognizing what all these British trees are. It's a bit of a shame. I, I can get by with most of them, but it's, these conifers are the ones that throw me. I never know what they are, but um, yeah, I mean, this is a beautiful composition. So you got the you got the two trees. I might have to come to the left a bit because there's a tree behind the silver one, which I don't really want in the shop. Kind of looks a bit awkward with that one there. That's better. You got a cleaner looking much cleaner looking composition now I've got another tree that's in front of these that I don't want in the shot and I've just got to tweak the camera till I get it spot on I think and then the tripod drops down this territory here the, the ground here is really bad it's a <laughs> it's a death trap off the track because it's just brambles everywhere and then um, I just wandered down this over here a minute ago and um, yeah it took me about five minutes to get back out again I kept getting snagged up by the um, by the brambles but uh, this shot I really like um, I could see it when I was taking the other shot and I was like oh that is really nice um, but it's just getting that just getting the composition just bang on I think that's about as good as it's gonna get And it's nice because there's a, you can see it here, this little bush in the foreground gives it a sense of depth. So I want to keep that out of focus so that it looks like, you know, you're shooting through that almost. And then these two will be nice and sharp in the background then. So I'm at F14. Yeah, I've got my five second timer on. So I'm at ISO 800. Uh, no, I'm at F8 and I'm at one tenth of a second. That's about as good as I can get it at the minute. I don't want to go get, pump the ISO up too much higher because it does bring in a bit of noise on the Z6. So I want to try and keep it as clean as possible. So I'm expecting a bit of leaf movement here, but not a huge amount. And we'll get that shot, five second timer, tenth of a second, look at the colors. Oh, Mwah. love autumn, absolutely love autumn. If it's not your favorite season, then you're doing something wrong. I think, I think, I'm just gonna bag a second one of those, focusing on that beech tree just to make sure that is sharp and I can blend the two together then in Lightroom yeah that's lovely that really like that really pleased with that one okay um I turn you around check that out for a scene look at that beautiful looking little beech tree there full-on colors got all this lovely orange bracken off to the right of him, mist and background, and you've got all these lovely straight pines, and then you've got a bit of greenery at the front here, just to add compliment that, I, I, I think. That's, um, yeah, that's a, 
That's an absolute banger of a shot. So we're going to just grab this one. I might be on the wrong lens because I'm still on the 70 to 200. But as you can probably tell, once again, <laughs> I'm stood in water. I don't know why I keep doing this. It's uh, very inconvenient. Um, so I'm going to have to put my camera bag down somewhere. I might have to just step off to the side here. I'll put my camera bag down. We'll switch to the 2470 because I actually think that will make a really nice 16-9 scene. Uh, so I'll be back in a sec. So yeah, back. I've got the 24 to 70 on now. And yeah, it's uh, it's not quite as good as like... I'm sorry, did we want you in the shot? <laughs> um, it's not quite as... Uh, spectacular as I thought it was going to be, but it's still a good shot. So we're going to bag it. We're still at ISO. Oh, I just do a bit timer. <laughs> we're still at ISO 800. We're still at one tenth of a second. The wind is starting to pick up, but we're also starting to get a bit of light. So I'm thinking that the mist and the fog could be starting to thin a little bit here. I don't know if that's just, does that take a shot or not? That's too busy yapping. Um, so the, yeah, I think the mist is starting to thin a bit now. The wind's picking up a bit now, so. Uh, I'm going to push on a little bit further down this way um, and just see if there is anything more interesting around there. But there's, every time I go around a corner, there's like little gems like this all about. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep pushing on and um, we'll get back to you if we get anything more interesting. Right, back of the car. That was a nice little round circuit there. Uh, there was a few other little compositions. There's a really nice patch of colour down at the bottom there. But uh, I didn't do any filming for that. I was too busy, <laughs> too busy trying to get the shot. Anyway, I needed to get back to the car to grab me coffee. <laughs> really looking forward to this because uh, that was a bit of a hike back up there again. It was quite, uh, quite treacherous terrain. So. I'm probably going to move on to another location now. Uh, I think I've done with this one. Uh, there's a, another woodland at the top of this hill, which I just scouted out and took some shots of on Friday. I'm just going to have a quick look at that. And then I'm going to see if I can find my mate, <laughs> find my mate, Mr. Shaw. I'm probably going to head over to Font Hill Lake though. I think looking at the color down here, and I think the fact there could be some mist and light there, I think that could make for some nice, um, for nice shots there. But, this will be the end of this video anyway. Um, it might be I've split this down into two videos because I want to keep my videos as short as possible and I've done quite a bit of filming for this one today. So if this is the end of the second part two one, then thank you ever so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. It really helps me massively. Helps me up here and helps the channel as well because uh, without you guys watching and without you guys liking and without you guys subscribing, then I wouldn't be doing this for much longer. And thank you very much for that. And we'll catch up with you on the next video. Mm. Glad that didn't run down my chin, because that would look silly. <laughs>